from a dangerous man hiding in a random person's attic. So we're thinking it's an animal, and he said, no, my name's Robert. Oh, sh there's a dude in my room. To this crazy man hiding from the police with a gun under a bed. Here are five examples of when wanted criminals realize they've been caught. Starting with the case of Joseph Cheryl, who was caught hiding in a closet with a knife when police found him. Put the, drop the knife. Nope. Drop the knife. Nope. On the 4th of March, 2023, police responded to a tip that a wanted man was hiding in his ex-wife's apartment. As soon as they arrived, they were met by fierce resistance from the ex-wife, who claimed that the wanted man was nowhere near her. A claim that would later turn out to be completely false. What's going on? Why is that in front of the door? Because <coughs> my ex-husband. I had an ex parte against him. Who's that? Joseph Sherrill. Is he here? No. I always keep that in front of the door. Y'all were here the other night. Were we? Was he here the other night? No, he was not. Okay. Why would somebody call and said he's here? Well, he's not here. Okay. And, and I'm sure it is his baby's mother because I had a protective order and I had custody of the kid. I'm so sick of her. I'm so sick and tired of all of this bull crap. And my heart happened to say- why would she call and say he's here if he's not here? Because she is so annoying. Notice how the woman tries to flip the conversation onto something else in order to get them away. Unfortunately for her, these cops weren't stupid and they kept pressuring her. Can we come in and look? For what? I to see if he's here. No, because I don't, you know what, when I lie, because I let y'all in here the other day and you told me to let him get his chair, okay? This was at 1 30, 12, 1 30. So why don't we come in and see if he's here? Because I wasn't here the other day, so I don't well, want to I'm telling you, he was not, he's not here. Okay. He was here. I put him out. I keep this in front of the door so that I don't have this problem of people coming here in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day. And I, I had to get my well, keys If he's back. not here, then we'll be going. Well, I just don't think that it's right that you're, you're in, like, whoever's calling you, tell them to come here. He's not here. Okay, well, somebody called us. We didn't just show okay, up here well, out I'm of the sky. He's not here. I'm, I'm sick as a dog. I've been sick for three weeks over this whole effing thing. He's out running around with some chick. The last I knew, he was at the Hampton Inn up on Opossum Town Pike. What kind That's of car does he thing. drive? What's that? What kind of car does he drive? He's with a girl with a white uh, silver Honda. Uh, I, I think it's a Civic. It's got tinted windows. They've been staying up there. Her name They were staying at the Motel 6. I, I'm telling you, I am so sick of all the bull crap with him. Like, I'm not having him here. Okay. So, so we can't come in and make sure he's not here? No, because I'm, I'm, I'm not, first of all, I don't have any pants on. You do have pants I on. I do not have pants on. I just have my pants on because I'm in bed. <laughs> you have jeans on, I, but okay. That. I am in bed. I'm sick as a dog. I'm sleeping. His girl, baby's mom has the kids. He is not here. You okay. go to those hotels and look for him. Those are the two last places that I heard that he was staying with her. Realizing that the woman wasn't going to let them in, one of the officers began to pressure her harder. What was he wearing when you saw him last? A uh, red coat and blue jeans and red and green, uh, red and black shoes. Okay. So, so I don't, why I don't, don't we come in and take a look? Because I'm not letting you in my okay, house. Why did your neighbors tell me that he just came in here though and he was wearing a red coat? He's not. And why is his red sweatshirt over there on the chair? That's that's my red sweatshirt. Okay. That's my red so sweatshirt. are we gonna come in and take a look or not? You, I'm not letting you in. What do you need to come in for? There's no protection. To make sure he's not here. Because he's not supposed to be here. What do you mean he's not supposed to be here? There is no protective order. It's dropped. It was dropped? Yes. Okay. So then we should be able to come in and take a look and make sure he's not well, here. I don't understand you. Because we have a summons form. You have a what? A summons. Just a piece of paper okay, we have to hand. And I gave that to him. That came in my mail the other day. Okay, well, we have to hand deliver it to him. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Go to the Hampton Inn. I'm so I don't think he's at the Hampton Inn. I think he's here. I'm telling you he's not here. So then why don't we come in and take a I'm look? Telling, because I'm not letting you, you. I don't trust you guys. Just a, a couple months Everything's ago. Everything's okay. Everything's on me. I don't, and, and again. Well, I wasn't the one that the case Y'all made me let him in here. And then he rolled the roost I until they served him the protective order. Okay, well, I wasn't here for any of that. Well, I'm, I'm not trusting it, so okay. you'll have to get, like, your superior here or something. I don't need a superior to tell me. 
Well, then you'll have to get somebody. I, I'm not letting you in my house. Okay. Like this is. Just so if I find out he's here. Okay. And you're lying to me. Okay. 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 I'm okay. gonna arrest you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. He's not here. Okay. He's so just so as long as you're okay with okay, being arrested. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that. He's not Perfect. here. Perfect. All right. So you guys both can go to jail. Then. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm not gonna argue with you. He is not here. So then let us come in and take a look. And we could have been gone. I don't understand what you. Watch out, dog. Hi, puppy. Come here, dog. Luna, come here. Come on, Luna. What's her name? Luna? Luna? Joseph, if you're here, let us know now. I'm telling you, this is all up and dirty. After searching around the house for a little bit, the officers began to believe that the ex-wife was telling the truth. That was, however, before they decided to check the bedroom. Shut up. 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 Let me see your hands. Come on. Put them. Drop the knife. No. Drop the knife. No. Drop the knife. You don't have to shoot me. No. Drop the knife. No. Why are you shooting me? Out of the way. Out of the way, man. Drop the knife, sir. Sixty-two. Give me some more units. Come back over here. No. Stop no, touching me. I'm not having you come with the knife. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Drop the knife. Drop the knife, man. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Hey, drop the knife. Drive the knife. Are you watching him? Yes. He's right there. Hey, 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 drop the knife! Hey! After drinking something, Joseph Cheryl charges towards the officers, resulting in him getting He was declared shortly afterwards. Days later, it was revealed that he had fentanyl and methamphetamine in his system at the time of his death. Unlike Joseph Cheryl, this wanted shooting suspect actually had a good hiding spot. So we're thinking it's an animal and he said, no, my name's Robert. Oh, sh there's a dude in my room. On the 19th of June, 2023, officers received a call from a family claiming they thought a man was hiding in their attic. Once the officers arrived at the scene, they were shocked by what they found. Came home from work and you tell somebody who's in our attic. We found him in there. Where is, how do I get up? Ah, Carlos, uh, do that door. Who's up there with him? My boyfriend. Pulled him out of the attic. Hey, I have a firearm. All right, well, don't use it. It's that door right there. Carlos, you stay. I'm not going up there. 36. He's on the porch with another individual. I'm going to be heading up there. Hey, I'll put my fire on. Put your way. Turn around. I just told him, Turn come around. in here. Turn around. I'm trying to come in. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. The dusty individual was Robert Turner Jr., who had been in a dangerous shootout with cops only a day prior. Apparently, he had been jumping from roof to roof trying to escape from cops who were chasing him after he committed an armed burglary. Suspect up here. Uh, come in through the back over here. Other individual has a firearm. He has it holstered. I'll go put it up as soon Just, as I can get past him. him on. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. I didn't talk to you. I'm on the fucking What's your name? I'm Robert Turner, man. Who's the hood now? Robert Turner, man. Robert Turner, man? Or Robert yeah, Turner? Man, my fucking leg is broke. All right, well, we're going to get you out downstairs, okay? 36 desk. He's got a firearm right here. He's the homeowner. He's got a firearm behind me. This individual's got a car. He's the homeowner. He's got a firearm behind me. This individual's just, got to come downstairs. Uh, I'm just out my rope. Yeah, we'll get you downstairs. Robert had supposedly broken his leg after jumping out of a four story window during the crazy shootout with the cops. After getting him down to the front door, the officers quickly started trying to get more information about the situation. Stop. Just hold still. You got anything on you we need to know about? Look at my leg. You got any weapons or anything? No, sir. You got any weapons up in that attic? No, sir. Huh? Oh, shit. Carpenter? You live on Carpenter? Oh, you look shit. familiar. Oh, shit. Did you hurt your leg jumping out of a window? Were you jumping out of a window or jumping across roofs last okay. night? Mm -hmm. I have my leg coming across here yesterday. What's that? I'm on my, I'm on to see my grandmother. I know. I'm on my leg. What's your first name, Robert? Yeah. And your last name is Turner? Yes, sir. What's your middle initial? 
Uh, you lift your hand please, thank you. Uh, we're, middle initial. The cough's ain't coming off, my friend. Sorry. What's your middle Best to be honest with us. Uh, 5887. Thank you. Yeah, oh, my God. Bro, you have to chill because guess what? What's your address? Yeah. Where you stay at? Where you stay at, bro? Huh? Across the way. Yeah, what does across the way mean? Oh, that's Carpenter. Right there. You that's stay on Carpenter? Carpenter? Yeah. yeah, I think I've seen him before. After searching the man for a little bit, one of the officers quickly discovered something interesting. Hey. I see why you're doing that. Hold up here, hold up here. What you got? What we got? Is it fentanyls or crack? What you got? No, I do them, them personal use. Hey, is it, I, I don't care if it's personal, is it fentanyls or crack? I don't know, I think they ecstasy. Ecstasy? Yeah. Now they're using that. Yeah. That's not ecstasy, bro. That's not? Well, we'll see. Yeah, I use this. It should be in my system and everything. You got a weapon on you? No, sir. Did you have a weapon on you? After about 10 minutes, EMS showed up and Robert was treated for his broken leg. In the end, he was charged with three felonies, including armed robbery and recklessly endangering safety with a dangerous weapon. Just like Robert, this man also had a creative hiding spot. However, in this case, he was actually ready for the cops. On the 15th of November 2022, officers were notified that a wanted man was hiding in a travel trailer in Oklahoma. After arriving at the scene, the officers thought that this was going to be like all the other situations. However, what they didn't know was that the 38-year-old Timothy Johnson was waiting for them, armed and prepared for war. Sammy! What? Huh? That'd be good. She told us we could go in. It's her trailer. Sammy! This is the police department! If you're in here, you need to make yourself known! Up until this point, nothing had really happened. However, that was because they hadn't checked the last possible hiding spot. It was when they did that that the situation spiraled out of control. Cody, you got cover out there while we do this? Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh. Come out with your hands up. 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 I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Inside the trailer, I'm hitting the face. Timothy, you need to come out with your hands up. Back out of the trailer. Back out of the trailer. You all go first. Go. Go. I got you. Go. Mock, you're injured. Go. Cover the trailer. 
After stepping inside the trailer for the second time, the officers got into another shooting exchange with the wanted man. It is here that Officer David Malk gets hit by what he initially thinks is a bullet. Later, it was confirmed to be flying debris from the exchange, which hit him in the face. As for the suspect, he was found deceased under the bed. Next, we go to the case of this suspect, who thought she could get away from the cops, but was caught red-handed in a Walmart. On the 13th of August, 2023, police were on the lookout for Shania Jones and her accomplice, Walter Clay Robinson Jr. They were both considered armed and dangerous, so the cops knew that they had to be careful. After searching through the Walmart store for a few minutes, the officers spotted Shania Jones, and it was then that things got crazy. Custody, we're in the third department. Stand it up. Lean to the right, lean to the right. Sit up. Stand up on. Back here? No, there was in the front by us. She ran back here. I'm locking my toes in the keys. No. I'm putting the female in my right now. Let's see what it's doing. Got it. Okay, so put your foot in, let me. Okay, listen. So right now, you've been detained. Okay. Minutes after catching Jones, another team of officers also located and took down her accomplice, Walter Robinson Jr. Get on the ground! On the ground! On the ground now! On your belly! On your belly! Hands me on your back! On your belly! Get on the ground! In the end, both were charged with menacing by stalking, while Jones faced additional charges of and contempt of court. While Shania and Robert tried actively getting away from the cops, this suspect actually called the cops on himself, only to end up getting arrested. On the 5th of August, 2022, police received a call from an angry Antoine Sims, who had been in a confrontation with the McDonald's restaurant owner. Um, I guess our order was called. But we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just ask him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get a fresh set? Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can, I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. This now. Sir, okay. I didn't pay. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I'll do a refund. I say, sir, with, with um, cash up card, just three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. This is not my, my story. He's telling me this is his business. He owns this. And his life. It's not that deep. We just okay. need the fries and the burger. Okay. After speaking with the cop, the owner tells him that he is willing to give Sims a refund on the condition that he never steps foot inside the restaurant again. Up until this point, everything had seemed completely normal. Just two guys having a little argument. 
It was only when the officer went to search up Antoine Sims' name in the police database that everything would change for the worse. Wanted person, caution, violence, armed and dangerous. As it turned out, there was a pending warrant on Antoine Sims for He had been arrested after setting a car on fire with a woman still inside, but decided not to show up to court to enter his final plea. Luckily, he was dumb enough to lead the police right to him because of a bunch of cold fries. I'm not under arrest or anything, am I? No, sir. Just come over here and have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here and have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you're going yeah. to come back to the property. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Will you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? three years, sir. I'm afraid of you. All right, sir. I'm, I'm going to walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm, doing I'm, that? Sims is well aware that something else is going on, which is the reason for his weird behavior. As the officers get into touching distance, Sims makes his move. I know how to fit. Am I right? right? Yeah. No, let me get Car, 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 car. 6-2 Kennesaw, car, cop. Got him! Contact! Contact, backside, backside! After a long chase, the officer was able to get close enough to Sims to tase him. Antoine Sims was subsequently put under arrest and charged with hindering law enforcement and criminal trespass. 